Here's my Phoenix 2000 that just arrived today after a two week waiting period. Not a problem. Um, I've already taken it out and started putting the stickers on, as you can see here. And everything here is very sturdy and heavy duty EPP material. Um, everything comes wrapped in its own bubble sleeve. Well, the wings and tail section are wrapped in bubble. And the fuselage is, as they described, it's blow molded. And see, I've started assembling, actually, I've finished assembling my stickers on. They're not the best, but, you know, you gotta make do or whatever. Um, you'll have to trim some. As you can see here, I kind of messed up between here and here. Um, canopy and lots of accessories to finish it up I can either make this a an electric prop driven glider or I could just go without that the prop and use spinner cone here and just block the face off and make it a slope plane um, here's the carbon fiber spar and the the undersides of the wing. Get a ply board on each and carbon fiber spar inside. As you can see, there's slots for the extra servos if you want to make install flaps. Everything's reinforced very good. I mean, the package it came well packaged. Um, like everyone talked about, these here clevises, they are a bit flimsy. But here in the bag here you have an extra set. You can either use those or purchase um, a more sturdier, heavy-duty set of clevises, which I intend to do. I'm not going to put this up. I already have a glider that's ready to roll. And here I put my. I've assembled all of my stickers. Instruction manual. Not extremely detailed, but detailed enough. And that's it. That's pretty much all that's there. Um, everything else is here in this bag. Yeah, your the screws, um, your linkages. And they also give you a small Phillips head screwdriver included. Very nice. So, well, that is my review of the Hobby King Phoenix 2000 sailplane. I uh, probably won't put this up for another couple of weeks. You know, it'll be pretty cold out, I guess, by then. But hey, I love the cold. And um, that's it. Oh, yeah. And take a look at this motor. It's a really nice motor in there. You can see it. I think it's a, uh, it's a 2815. 1050 kilovolt brushless outrunner motor. Very nice. Looks like it, ha it has a lot of power behind it. And the inside tray area is plywood. Very sturdy. The only thing that I'm going to change on this will be the plug for the battery connector. I hate these plugs. I'll go with the EC3 plug and connector. Well, and that's my review. It looks like it looks like a pretty good plane. So I hope this helps, huh? All right, people. That's it.